The river and ponds were all filled with blood. No one could find good water to drink. But Paroa still wouldn't let the people go. Then God covered the land with frogs. No one could walk without stepping on a frog. Paroa called Moses and said, I will let your people go, but first, take away the frogs. But just when God made the frogs go away, Haroah changed his mind and still would not let the people go. The third plague God sent was gnats that came up of the ground. Gnats were everywhere. It came in big flocks. Then God sent swarms of life over Egypt. It was terrible for Egyptians. And finally, Haroa promised Moses that the people could live if only the flies would go away. But, again, just as God made the gnats and flies go away, Paroa regretted what he had promised. Then God said, All Egypt's farm animals will become sick. And so it happened. Many of the animals even died. But none of the Israelites' animals were sick. The sixth plague was sores. Sores covered the Egyptians' body from the top of their head and the bottom of their feet. People were hurting too much to stand up and had to stay lying in bed. Then God sent a terrible storm over Egypt with huge hailstones that crushed every plant and all crops on the field. The hail was so big it even made holes in the roof. And this hailstorm continued all day long. Still, Haroah refused to let the Israelites go. God then sent swarms of locusts all over Egypt. A single locust is not a problem. But when they come in swarms of millions, it is a terrible plague. They ate every green plant that was still alive after the hatch. Next, God covered Egypt with thick darkness for three days. It was dark even at afternoon. Let the Israelites 
God then said to Moses, Paroa will soon let you go. Therefore, go and tell your people to be ready to leave. On that same night, all the firstborn baby boys in Egypt began dying. Even the Paroa's son died. But among the Israelites, nobody died. This was the tenth plague God sent over Egypt, and by far the worst of them all. That same night, Paroah called on Moses and said, I have had enough. Take your people and go. In a hurry, the Israelites took everything they owned, and they left Egypt. Mga kaibigan, nagustuhan niyo ba ang story natin ngayon? Abangan niyo ang mga susunod pa na journey ni Moses. Kung bago ka sa aking channel, please do like and subscribe and please hit the notification bell para ma-notify kayo kung meron akong upcoming videos. Shout out sa direktor kong mama na siya ang dito sa mga channel ko. Tsaka, kung gusto niyo magpa-shout out, please comment down below. Bye-bye! Keep safe! Mama Chup Chup! God bless!